you like open world games, action RPGs, hack and slasher, the concept of a really, really good indie game, you're at the right place. And if you have no idea what I'm just talking about here, this is your best chance to get to know one of the best looking games out of probably 2022. So with that said, let's watch this thing together. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's go everybody. Sony State of Play. Jesus, it looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Choo choo Charles, here it comes. Oh man, if this is how the game really looks like, the, the way it is, is this how it's gonna work actually? So far, I've been led to believe that uh, this is the life of a not, not so ordinary person. You probably see what I mean in a second. Isn't Cornfield Saint? Like any what other day, Billy sets out on another job. Is it even Nathan Baru? Whose voice that was? Looks like he's reading the letter he received. The job seems. Tell me this doesn't look interesting, enough. please. What am I? Billy arrives at Cornfield Station. What is that? He needs to meet Professor Vincent, who should be nearby. That's a fat. That's how fast travel oh, works in this game. There's an old lady up ahead. During travel, you can engage with what? various people. Oh, that was sometimes to buy goods or simply ask for directions. Hmm. See what I mean when I said it's a semi-open world game, but it's maybe it's on even certain more than occasions, that. The crew is available to travel travel together. together. I'm sorry, I don't want to ruin the commentary. The, the, the at the same time the guy's talking, but I'm during just world map yeah, travel, you can encounter various events, some bigger than others. In this case. A flock of sheep blocking the road. Yeah, I think it's best if I just shut up and watch this thing because it's actually explaining. It's self-explanatory. Looks like they have arrived near their destination. Oh, this looks. Billy this looks heads towards cute. an eerie-looking mansion to fulfill his simple task, of course. Oh. He's greeted by who seems like the owner. Okay, good. The job is to pick up a mysterious artifact and deliver it to Professor Vincent. Looks like it's kept in the mansion's basement, leaving behind the unsettling signs on the wall. Billy enters the basement chamber. What? Well, it turns out that the job is not going to be so simple after all. Yeah. This is where the fun Ever part comes in. I don't know if this is an strange actual, like creatures constantly appear. That's not a turn base. Surrounded by a mob. It's a real striking time and sticking targeting. the blade into enemies to pull and throw them around. Why does this remind me of inside the game? During his travels, Billy needs to resort to his survival instincts and make use of whatever he has to survive. Hmm. Often being Whoa, exposed to the harsh side of Mother Nature. Dude. A desert environment is one such place. Finding safe places to camp and cooking up food is all part of the journey. I always hate that part when you get this a quick time, food and just always a worry about the climate. And worse, caught in a snow blizzard. Struggling to pull his companion out what of the snakes of cinematic. And what will be their fate? The donkey fucking died. Lead Billy throughout his journey. Do you see what I mean? And imagine what he has to face. Do you see this? Some expected, more often not. What the hell is that, man? What is it, a boss fight? Fuck, if he does not finish. Ah, oh, oh, shit. My. Welcome to the world of Little Devil Inside. Inside. 
2022 plays oh come on still not a specific release date i've actually read somewhere on uh online that this game will eventually come to every single console even switch but i don't know it's a Maybe because it's a it's the the trailer is an official PlayStation state of play trailer gameplay trailer maybe that that's why they included only the PlayStation consoles but I think this this game is actually coming to all consoles. Here's the thing: as you probably noticed, the game doesn't have a release date or a specific release date in this case. But believe it or not, this game was actually kickstarted more than five years ago, so it's almost done. There's nothing to worry about. This game's almost done. I was really excited about this, to be honest. I just, I couldn't wait to share this with you guys and just see this for myself. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new here and want to see more video game reveals on a regular basis, just make sure to subscribe. That will be the best way to get them more often. If you're not subscribed to IGN or PlayStation or whatever, or you'd like to see this more, that will be the best way to go. In any case, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again pretty soon. Take care, everybody. Peace.